Hello you lovely people and welcome to my video. Something a bit different today. It's Sunday evening and I've just been browsing eBay and I've been trying to find weird stuff. It's something I do every now and again. You should try it, it's fun. And I thought I'd actually make a video and share with you some of the stuff I found tonight. So I'm gonna share five weird or unusual items I've found for sale on eBay. Everything from pickled bums, one of my personal favorites, all the way to Justin Bieber's stolen knife and fork. It's a bit odd, and everything in between. So what I'll do in a second is screen share so you can see, we'll go into eBay and look at the actual items and I'll show you what I managed to find. There's so much weird stuff on eBay, I recommend it to you guys. Just search for weird stuff on eBay if you're ever bored or you want a laugh. So let's see if we can get this screen share working and I'll show you what I found. Um, hold on one sec. Oh, sorry, it's an eBay message coming. Right, so screen share. Okay, so hopefully you can now see this. I thought these were fantastic. This is a seller, um, check them out if you want, called Naked Novelties. And pretty much all they sell is pickled bums. Oh. And what surprised me more than anything with this is the amount they've sold. On this one listing, look, 16 of these jars of pickled bums have sold, which is fantastic. But even better than that, if you go into their shop here, their top seller is pickled boobs and bums. Check that out. <laughs> You've got to hand it to them. They've, they've come up with an idea and boy have they run with it. An attractive and quirky gift for all your nearest and dearest. My speciality is squashing lots of naked thingamabobs into jars in the most gentle and dignified way possible. <laughs> I love these so much. If we go back in the shop, where's my other favorite? Grumpy bums. You've got grumpy bums in a jar, lazy bums, <laughs> you've got to hand it to this seller. They have come up with something that who would have ever thought this stuff would sell? Oh, hold on, pickled willies and they're just running with it. Fair play to them. I thought they were fantastic. Okay, so next thing I found this evening. This is a bit more creepy. This is very strange. This, as you can see in the title here, 100% real haunted human tooth. There it is in its bag of salt, apparently. But what made me want to share this was the description. I find this hilarious. So if we go down to the description, here we go. This is a 100% real haunted human tooth. Buy with caution, not to be taken lightly as reflected in the price which was 60 pounds and apparently sold look one bid. Since this tooth came into my possession, I've had strange unexplained things going on in my home from things moving, cupboards opening, footsteps, strange sounds, sleep paralysis and much more. It is believed, so I was told from the person who paid me to take the tooth from them. Hang on a minute. So you were paid to take this haunted tooth away and then what do you decide to do with it? Sell it to the highest bidder. If it's such an awful thing, why on earth are you selling selling, it to, selling the privilege of owning it to the next person? Anyway, that's up to them. So this tooth was removed from a Knights Templar that had its tomb raided in France. I cannot verify this, surprise, surprise, but I can say the, the, the tooth is 100% haunted. I took this tooth to a friend's and left it at her home for over a week. And I can honestly say at my home, no paranormal activity happened. But my friend was in fear with the things she experienced and begged me to come and get the tooth ASAP. Please, please do not buy this if you do not want to experience paranormal activity. Okay. The shocker for me is that this got a bit look. Somebody has fallen for this mumbo jumbo 
and paid 60 quid for a manky old tooth in a bag of salt. Shocking. Next one. Oh, there's so many things wrong with this. Justin Bieber, not his glass. So first off, the title is telling you what you're not getting. You're not getting his glass, shame. You're getting his used knife and fork. Now there's the picture. I suppose this is kind of the proof that there <laughs> could be anyone, but that's Justin Bieber apparently. And here are the knife and fork with a strange milky substance on. Another very clear, obvious picture of Justin Bieber there. But it's the description here that made me laugh. I was staying in the King's Oak Hotel in Epping for a week. When on day five of staying, Justin Bieber walks into the bar, sits down and order, orders his meal. Once he'd finished and left, I did see a couple. Uh, a couple people walk to the same table as him, but I managed to get his fork and knife. So hold on a minute. What you're saying is you stole some cutlery from a restaurant and have put it up for sale. In my book, that's theft and then selling on stolen goods. Um, the fork and knife have not been washed. Thank God for that. It even has his scent still on it. So Justin is that stinky, his scent will stick to stainless steel. I was going to keep the fork and knife, but I'm sure someone else would rather have them than me. Yeah, and apparently eight grand was the selling price. Nine bids. Seriously, let's have a look how many different people were bidding. One, two, three, three different people by the look of that. Unbelievable. There's so much wrong with this. A, how do we know that's Justin Bieber? B, you stole the knife and fork. I, I feel like ringing up the King's Oak Hotel in Epping and, and telling them that somebody has uh, stolen a knife and fork off them and then flogged it on eBay for eight grand. There's, uh, I'm lost for words, lost for words. A, that someone <laughs> listed it, and then B, that all those people were bidding on it, and supposedly somebody has paid 8,000. Unbelievable. This next one is just wrong in every way possible. Okay. Ebola vintage sample. It's all you get as a title. All you get as a picture is that. All you get as a description is fully operational item. Just enjoy. Where the hell do I begin? Firstly, let's go along with it and say this is a genuine vintage sample of Ebola, which is kind of what they're saying it is, right? It's a smashed bottle. There's nothing in it. What on earth are you actually selling? You're selling a half a specimen jar with someone's biro word written on it that says Ebola. But let's let's go along with it right and say this had Ebola in it. A, why on earth would somebody keep something that's potentially life-threatening and that had a, a deadly virus in it? And then why would they have the thought that, I know, I'll stick it on eBay? Well, ha, well, Everything, just I'm lost for words with this. But then, in reality, what you've actually got is a jar with nothing in, right? With no description, really, apart from fully operational item. Right, so fully operational item. Let's just take that for a moment. Okay, this is a fully operational item. Now, that's a specimen jar used to hold specimens. I don't think it's going to work. It's got a slight issue at the bottom there. Like it's it's smashed in half. Fully operational, my ass. <laughs> and then I just love this. The only other bit of detail they've put in their listing is just just enjoy. Just enjoy your smashed specimen jar that may have once contained a life-threatening virus. And to top it all. Somebody actually bid on this at 66 pounds. 
unbelievable. I love this here as well. Look, all defects are visible in the picture. Let's have a look for these defects. Uh, spot the defect. Spot the defect. Oh, there you go. Uh, unbelievable. KKK Uvalda. Yeah, uh, words fail me. Words fail me. Unbelievable. So that's that one. Last one is a spanking bench. New folds flat for transporting. Now, each to their own. Obviously, some people are into spanking. That's not the issue here. You know, I get it. Some people love that kind of stuff. Why I wanted to share this was the description. But firstly, right? Yeah, some people are into spanking. That's their thing. Go for it. But they must have more money than cents. 165 quid, really, for that. I, what am I not getting here? Why would you just not bend over? Have you not got a sofa you can like, lean up against? Why do you need this complicated piece of equipment to bend over? But anyway, that's not what I wanted to share this for. What is brilliant is down here. Okay, spanking bench, easily taken apart for storage or transport. Feedback from buyer Nancy. Love this bench. Easy to put together. Might buy another one. You do that, Nancy. Nancy loves spanking so much, she needs two spanking benches. This is unusual, rare, and not that expensive. Mm, well, care to differ, 165 quid. I can offer either as shown or with a different color padded covering, extra cost, lovely. Brackets here for naughty people. <laughs> spanking bench used by professionals and amateurs alike. Yeah, professional spankers. I can see why a professional spanker might need a professional spanking bench. <sighs> um, often found awkward to store away out of sight of friends and relatives when visiting. Yeah, I can see that. Tested with a 146 kilogram person, 23 stone. Wow. But that was a fun evening. Unbelievable. Now, this is the bit. I was looking at this with Andrea earlier. This cracked me up. Ideal for fun games like, wait for it, schools in the 50s, that popular game, forfeits, or trivial pursuits. Now, I don't know what sort of trivial pursuit game they play, but I've played trivial pursuit. I love trivial pursuit. And it's never involved spanking that would require a spanking bench. They, they have a whole different game of Trivial Pursuit in their house, I swear. Or card games like strip poker was a, or as fetish equipment. See, we get it. It's fetish equipment. You don't have to pretend you're going to play Trivial Pursuit. Uh. Or, wait for it, really trying to flog it here, or even a conversational piece over social gatherings. Or experimenting with friends. <laughs> uh. And then, this is sold, wait for it, right? this is sold as a collector's piece or decorative item only, and is not sold or advocated to be used. So why were you testing it on your fat mate? How old were they? 23 stone! You're not advocating its use, but you tested it on a 23 stone person, just in case. Unbelievable. But there you go. Like I said, you know, each to their own. But I just love the description on that. Two sold, so doing quite well. Let's, let's, let's have a quick... I haven't actually looked at other items. Oh, they're totally into all of this. Look, you buy the bench. Here, buy the cane off the same seller. Might be able to get a discount on the pair. Whoa, hello, paddles. Okay. <laughs> they just look like spatulas to me. Yeah, they do the whole range of spanking equipment, everything you could need. That's it, that's their entire shop. Super Connie, amazing. All right, let's come out of there. 
So there you go. Hope you found that amusing. I, I thoroughly recommend it. Just searching weird stuff on eBay when you're bored on a Sunday evening. If you did enjoy that, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know below in the comments which you preferred. What was your favourite item out of all of those? Or any weird items you found on eBay. Drop some links below if you want. I'd love to check out the weird stuff you guys find. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. And I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye for now.